Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressor channel. Okay, so I recently watched Adrian and Israel Holton's love story on YouTube. If you haven't seen that, check that out, but it's a sweet video and I loved watching it. And I'm glad to see that Adrian is happy in her marriage because in her previous relationship, it wasn't always peaches and cream. Obviously, she did not have the same happiness in her previous relationship as she does in her relationship now. If you don't know, Adrian Bailon was in a relationship with an executive at Rock Nation named Lenny Santiago. And I'm going to tell you the reason why Adrian left Lenny and got with Israel. One of the reasons is Lenny wasn't big on being affectionate or showing PDA per se. A lot of people did not know that Adrian was his girlfriend. And in some ways it bothered Adrian, but Adrian, she just went along with it and pretended that she was okay with not showing affection in public. You don't hold hands in public? She no. Lenny, they don't. We do what? not. You don't like hold hands? I don't. I just think there's something about it that says this is mine. And I don't like you don't that. Now that I'm don't. getting older, I see other couples and um, sometimes I want that. Do you do it with Lenny now? No, we, we're not like touchy feely like that. He's too cool for it. But Adrian, you five years in. I mean, you should already be comfortable. But we're right? both not like that. Oh. Adrian later revealed that the reason why she and Lenny weren't affectionate in public was because Lenny did not want to show affection and Adrian was afraid of being rejected, so she went along with his wishes. Yeah, because I've been in a relationship, in relationship before where was with the person for years and no one even ever knew it. <laughs> I was so anti-PDA because there was no PDA in my relationship. Yeah. So you never felt you wanted to do it to him? No, I feel like uh, it wasn't reciprocated and I felt, yeah. I felt like, has any of you guys ever been in a relationship where you're like nervous to hug the person because you're afraid you might get rejected? Oh, okay. you'll literally be like, um, I love you. Like, they'd be like, all right. Yeah, did you Another reason why Adrian and Lenny's relationship did not work out is because Lenny did not always agree with her choices. Sometimes he would judge her if she did something that he didn't do. Yes, I dated a guy that didn't drink. And at first I was like, oh, that's so dope. Cause I thought, okay, he's not a drinker like that, but he'll for sure, you know, toast champagne with me on the new year. No, it was like, no, I don't drink. And then looking at me side eye every time I had a sip. One of the biggest reasons why Adrian and Lenny's relationship ended was because Lenny didn't take the initiative in the relationship the way Adrian wanted him to. While Adrian took a break from the talk show The Real, she did spend summers with Lenny and they actually lived together. However, Lenny never gave her the key to the apartment. So it was almost as if she was a stranger living at his place instead of a girlfriend of five years. Every apartment I had in New York City, my boyfriend at the time had a key, but I did not have a key to his home. I was living with the person when I was- And he didn't eight. give you a key and you was That's living That's what I'm trying to tell you. But what it took for me to ask for the key was really hurtful. By the time I was asking for the key, it was because it was embarrassing. My question was, why didn't you offer it to me? Why do I always have to ask? If I'm honest, I always felt like I was pushing for every step. Even though Lenny and Adrian had their differences, they still loved each other and Lenny eventually popped the question and Adrian said yes. This would become Adrian's first engagement. However, the engagement wouldn't last long because Adrian soon realized that Lenny was not the one for her. I am not engaged anymore. It was a hard decision to make when you're with somebody for such a long time, I think. As women, we have a hard time with change, but you have to be true to yourself. You have to be honest with yourself. And I think having time on my own gave me that. Adrian went on to reveal that the reason why she ended the relationship is because she felt like she was settling and she knew that maybe something was better out there for her. Yeah. Don't settle if right. you're not 100% sure. Yes. Yeah. If something at any point doesn't feel right, right. listen. You gotta listen to your yes. heart. You gotta listen. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with them. It doesn't mean anything's wrong with you. It just may not be right. But what, when did you know that it wasn't right? I think I knew when I moved across the country and we didn't need each other in that way. Sometimes people say yes for the wrong reasons. And I think if you're honest with yourself, you invested so much time oh. that it almost would be a shame not to say yes. 
Adrian felt like since she spent five years in the relationship that she should have married Lenny. However, she knew that he wasn't the right one for her. Several months after Adrian ended her engagement, she met and fell in love with Israel Holton. Israel Holton was Adrian's dream guy and he was everything that she wanted in a man. Unfortunately, their relationship was hit with a lot of skepticism and judgment from numerous people. Some people thought that Israel left his wife, Melissa, to get with Adrian. However, Israel revealed that he was already divorced when he started dating Adrian. I had recently announced that I had been divorced, even though I had been divorced for quite a while. So everybody was kind of speculating and crazy. saying different things and saying crazy things about her. Despite all of the criticism, Adrian and Israel's love story prevailed. After several months of dating, they got married in Paris, and now they're living happily ever after. Once Adrian realized that she shouldn't settle, she was able to find the one that was truly out there for her. And when you think about it, it's truly inspirational, and it's a beautiful love story. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share if you care. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.